We last saw her in a police van, in tears. One of the oldest Extinction Rebellion activists to be arrested, she told me of her profound fears. It's very frightening. But I'm more frightened of what's happening to the environment than I am of police. Arrested in Westminster, West Yorkshire is her home. And now Helen Dobson, a retired social worker, is back there while police decide whether to proceed with charging her. One week on, she told me how it felt to be arrested for the first time. When they took me away, <laughs> when they actually arrested me, instead of threatening to arrest me, it, it felt, that felt really scary. And I thought, what have I done? But no, really, once that, the, the tears are gone and I settled down, I knew I'd done the right thing. You've got four grandchildren. What did they think about you being arrested? My 10-year-old granddaughter thinks, keeps asking her mum when I'm coming out of prison. The others haven't said much, but they put it on their WhatsApp, you know, they put the film on the WhatsApp, but they haven't said much. Helen's was just one of the more than 1,700 arrests since the group's so-called autumn uprising started, a long-running, arduous operation for police. And what do you say to the argument, you know, police resources were being stretched last week, they shouldn't have to deal with, with things like this? Well, I think that, you know, if the government start listening and start doing something and acting, um, then, then the police wouldn't be stretched. Uh, that's all I can say, really. But does she support the tactics deployed today, though, even after the group itself has questioned what it did? You think you'll get on top of a tube train? I'm not that brave. No, no, I'm just not brave. I, I think that's an incredibly brave thing to do. One week since her time in custody, Helen doesn't rule out getting arrested again as Extinction Rebellion's campaign escalates. Julian Drucker, 5 News, Halifax.